Yes, everybody, uh, DJ Connor Scott, the Valid Agent Time, and, and today we got a small video for you. It's not a good vlog, it's not a vlog. I don't know what it is, but it is kind of like a speaker review, but it's not a review, which I haven't got clothes for reviews. But come here, literally just woke up, but I'll hold it off. Anyway, here we go. Um, today's uh, review is um, about my speakers, the QTX QRC 12As, um, 12 inch drivers, active. Um, I bought them just over a year ago, so it was like a like a one year on type of video. Inspired by I think it's JLDJ UK. Link will be in the description. Or might be someone else. I'll have a little check. Annotation beer from correct in fine incorrect uh year. See? Obviously not today, obviously it was like copyright. Anyway, go again on. Um I uh, the first gig log uploaded with these speakers um in use oh, is on the 29th I think, 29th of the 6th, 2013, whilst today's date is the 1st of the 7th, 2014, so it's just over a year. Um, so yeah, this is my kind of review. I'm going to set up downstairs at the moment in my living room, it's quite nice. Beautiful sun outside, I've worked down outside and I go, so it is a window there, because that's how high quality the camera and it's like nice the window is. All I've done outside today, and so yeah, um, that was my man on the phone. So I was saying, all I've done outside, but you know, I probably made, made him look like I like know myself. Just so you know, that for there is a Christmas tree, and it's like seven months old, so they play to it. This is like, actually, it's not surviving, and that's actually shot a fire with them for the Barbie and the chimney over there. Anyway, so what I was saying, it's back to the speaker. Um, it's the QTX QRC 12As. Um, there we go, it's a little bit of spec, um, there it is, item ref, I'm not actually going to say that, power RMS 250, power peak uh, 500, frequency response, it is 45 uh, uh, hertz to 20,000, that's the K, 20 kilohertz, um, SPL, I think it's signal to noise, I'm not too sure, anyway, whatever SPL is, it is 99 decibels, Crossover frequency is 3,000, three, 3, 3 kilohertz, weight 14 kilograms. Actually, that's lying because um, it isn't much weight than that. I, th I think it's about 12 kilograms. Anyway, whatever. Um, it's the back of it. You've got a combo XLR slash cordless jack um, channel 1 input. You can either plug the mic straight into it and the mic LED will flash. That's bright blue. Um, you've got the gain. Um, you got the you got the uh, treble, you got the bass, and you got the echo effect, which is quite nice if you're just running a straight into a uh, microphone. Oh my god, my arm's getting killer now. Um, on channel two, which I which I usually use, um, you've got the gain, you got the treble, and battery low the bass, uh, and that's it. That's what that's basically that's on channel two is RCA. Um, so if you're gonna run RCA, make sure you have got like. Um, like a split output type of thing when you mix up because these only work best in RCA but then if you if you are running RCA make sure you get quarter inch adapters or XLR adapters because you sound much better on channel 1 um, you've got um, output balanced so you can go from one and then daisy chain with an XLR cable into another one into the XLR input um, which I used to do until I actually bought my um, dual RCA so I just plug in like I, what I do now We've got a master volume, so this is the overall volume, like a mixer type of thing. We've got a switch, obviously, we've got a power. Um, you've got the fuse internal, I think. Damn crap. We've got a kettle, I see. And we've got um, a ground and a lift thing, which I, I, I actually haven't got a clue what it is, but I will find out for you. Um, in here, you've got um, the neck so you can tighten this onto the speaker. Um, um, yeah, sorry about that. Um, my memory card was full. I'm not clue what I've covered, so um, I just can carry on as I think I've covered. Um, as I was, I know I've covered this part, but I literally just left. Um, this will cut tighten the speaker onto the speaker stand, or in some cases, the speaker, the speaker pole. But it's the speaker pole basically. Um, if you're using subs, um, I don't know if I covered that to move my handles. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah, basically. Um, base port. Um, like, I don't know. It's like, it is a copy of an RCF. You will, I will admit that. It is a copy of like one of the RCs. I think the R12s, I, I don't know. But it is the copy of the RCFs. You know, because they are one of the nicest speakers going, in, in my opinion. In my opinion. Um, I honestly don't know what to cut up because I just going to give a very low down like what I actually think of the speaker. Is shit. In a nutshell, is shit. But then again, like, it depends how much, you know, what's your budget. Um, like, if, if your budget is, you know, like nine, you're, just, you're not going to get any gigs. Um, you know, you ain't getting many gigs, you know, and like, you, they don't get a lot of like, pop money. I get a little, very little because of my gigs. Because that's like a mother, like, oh, you do it, you get it, you got a job now, so you know, you ain't getting any money. Getting pocket money for a child who's not actually getting any money. So yeah, I'm not, not actually getting that many gigs, I'm not actually getting that much money. So all the gigs I'm saving up for now, um, I'm not telling what I'm saying, I is saving up for New Death, but I'm not exactly telling you what ones, but I'm telling you now what they are. The nushes. Um Basically, why why do I think they're shit? Well, the sound quality on a me, I'm gonna sit down for you. The sound quality. Oh my god, that's really terrible. The sound quality on them is is all right. You know, is is good enough. It's good for what I paid for, which is I think about like two hundred and fifty for both of them. I got two, obviously. Um. You know, they're good for what they've paid for, but if you want to like put these on, you know, label these as professional, professional, um, you know, professional speakers, like professional quality, you can't because they are beginner active speakers. Like, they're basically, you know, like, remember my first, like, my, my first phone, one of those, like, Tommy or Fisher Price type of things, you know, they are like one of those, they are my first active speaker in a way because they are cheap. But then again, right, they are good for, they are bang for buck. They are very good for the price. Um, oh, I just fell. Um, the one thing I do recommend, if you're going to run these, right, the base on them, right, I was listening to Jason Zulo and Snoop Dogg Wiggle. Um, a little, let you know, the link will probably be in the description for that song. It's a really good song. Actually, insert clip here. Yeah. That, um, that first kick by there is absolutely, well, these are absolutely gets distorted. Like, all you can hear is that, dang! That's all you can hear from those, right? And then, like, these just blow up too much air in, in like, the buffers, so. Yeah, if I want to say actually write a prop review, but, um, you know, I'll give you a, I'll give you a full in-depth review. But, yeah, there's actually not that much to it, so. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.